What's up guys, Arco Tech here, and uh, bringing you kind of a different video today. I'm gonna do a Mustang reveal soon, and you guys can see all the cool stuff on my Mustang, but I wanted to talk about these louvers uh, that I got from MMD, from americamuscle.com. And here they are, they're the Eleanor Scoops. And I wanna kinda show you guys how to, here, here they are, here's the Scoops, they're the Eleanor Scoops. And there's really no information online. I looked at like so many YouTube videos on how to cut these and there's no information online how to do this. So, and there's none in the instructions either. Like, as you guys can tell, you guys have looked at the instructions. As far as the grill goes, they send you these inserts that you have to cut out. And there's no like, first of all, if you cut this out and stick that in there, the size is wrong. They're too small. So these are pointless. So I wanted to show you guys kind of how to do it and basically I give you guys a tip. For the small one for the back grill, uh, this is how this one turned out. So, and there wasn't even any good videos on how they looked, but I'm gonna show you how that one fits. We're here in a second. So that one's gonna fit just like this. It's gonna just fold down. As you guys can see, it just folds in there and then you just cut like an inch off the side. So for the flat panel, you cut an inch off like the directions and you just fit that in there. You bend one part down the three M adhesive and then the three M adhesive is going to go there as well. And it just sits in there. Perfect. Right now, the other one, which is tricky, which had me stumped for like ever, um, the big one, you're just going to literally, you're going to cut off the edge, right? Cut off the edges. And then you're going to put on a movie and sit there and watch a movie while you do this. And you're going to fold an under lip, which is going to go down here like this and see how that just fits in there. Perfect. See how that fits in there. Perfect. And you're just going to literally take it out, cut some more off the side, cut some more off the side and then put it back in. And you're just going to keep doing that until it literally slides all the way down. Now it's not going to all the time because you're still going to have excess on one side. So you're going to keep pulling it out. Take scissors. Don't use freaking tin snips. Use scissors and just keep cutting off a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until it fits flush like that up against the back and there's no gaps and it's just there. And then you're just going to fold that top part down and then use the 3M adhesive. But I hope that kind of, uh, you know, illustrates it better for you guys. Literally, you're just going to fold one end down, stick it down in there, and then just keep cutting off either side until it fits all the way in and fills the gap. And you'll have a perfect fit for your louver for your Eleanor scoop from MMD. And if you want to tape this to this, you can, but like I wanted to show you guys, it doesn't, um, look how much excess this is. Like it really doesn't do anything. So do not cut this out. Just use it as kind of like a template, but know that the, the mesh is going to be bigger. So, um, just finished both of them. I just want to give you guys some kind of tips and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys love the video. If you liked the video, check it out, uh, you know, hit that like button, hit subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram. Uh, and we're going to do a Mustang, uh, unveil with all the parts that I have on my Mustang, all the mods and all that good stuff here in the future. Love you guys. Hope that video kind of helped. Like I said, just put on a movie, kick back, put on a movie and cut this out. Remember the easiest way to do it is, uh, you know, I watch all these YouTube videos. They have it all folded and bended and they're like, well, I fucked mine up, but it worked. Good luck. Like, nah, dude, just bend the fucking one side underneath. Just bend it. So, it, so it goes in. I don't know what that is. What's that? Like an inch and a half, two inches. I don't, I don't fucking know. Just bend it and then just take the other part, stick it in and just cut off on the sides until it actually goes in smooth. What's up guys. Just wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like final product i'm not going to show you how to install it on the vehicle i feel like there's enough videos of that out there mainly what this video is for is to kind of just give you guys tips on how to install the mesh which i feel like there wasn't any good videos out there of it uh i think the few i watched were all like hack jobs and they didn't know how and the instructions don't really show you how and they're really misleading so let me show you guys what the underneath looks like turned out great so hold on So this is the underneath, this is the underside. We got all the 3M tape mounted. Okay, there's six pieces of each. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about when you count them on the paper, there's six and six. And then the roll is for the actual mesh. And you just cut that to fit. I, I kind of went a little crazy on this one, the one side, you can see it's huge. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's all good, it worked. It's fit in, perfect, there you go. 
And you guys can pause the video if you need to like get better, you know, an image of that if you guys want to pause the video. I'm not trying to smack my monitor with this. That would suck. I saw one video. The guy is like literally when he's putting the paper on the mesh, he was like, if you don't have tape to tape it down, he goes, use gum, like chewing gum, like if you're broke, like seriously, like. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's all you'll have after you buy these is chewing gum, right? But uh, there's the inside, uh, which turned out pretty, pretty fucking good. And the, the back side looks pretty good too. So, but there you go. Obviously, I have a white car, so mine are pre-painted. These aren't. These aren't fucking uh, uh, just raw. But uh, there you go, guys. There's the underneath. And uh, when we put the 3M tape on, we just did it around the edge and we made sure that it was like in more than um, than out. So like if it was closer to this side, to the edge, then like you might see it when it goes on the car itself. So we tried to do it as uh, inside as we could so it wouldn't show on the edge. Like so when it's against the car, it wouldn't, um, you know, there wouldn't be like a gap, but... But there you go, and that's just folded under, and like I showed you previously, uh, now you might have to pinch this a little bit. This is another little detail. You're going to have to probably pinch this a little bit to make sure it's down, and like this isn't going anywhere at all. I could I could like pick it up from this if I wanted to. It's not going anywhere. This stuff holds pretty pretty hardcore, but there you go, guys. There's the full the full spectrum, and uh, I mean, it came out, it came out pretty good, uh, honestly. The honeycomb looks looks pretty sick, dude came out pretty pretty fucking solid in my opinion but uh there you go guys eleanor scoops there you go uh if you guys like the video please like and subscribe and uh i'll be doing a a video soon of the car and the mods that i have done to the car and all that good stuff so i'm tired so stay tuned guys and uh, like i said check out my instagram subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys like uh this little video and you guys want to see more let me know. My hair is fucking crazy. Crazy. But uh, much love, guys. Hope you guys have a banging night. Peace.